Hi, I'm two years old today, and would you believe it, with over 114 million other channels on YouTube, I've actually made just a little bit of money. But if you want to know how much money I've made in one year of being monetized, and just a few other little extra facts and figures, then you need to watch on, because you might also then learn how this ficus has become my most popular video, but not necessarily earned me the most. So if you want to quickly hit stop, write down in the comments how much you think I've earned, and even better still, how much you think I earned off this YouTube short. Well, there's a little hint for you. Hi, oh, yeah, it's Xavier, and welcome to my bonsai retreat. And yeah, it's been two years since I started this venture. Have I regretted it? No, but have you regretted it? Well, I only have to look in the comments to get the answer to that one. So many of you are probably asking, should I start a YouTube channel? Am I gonna make money? Can I retire? What sort of things can I earn in a year? Well, guess what? I'm gonna be answering all those questions. I'm sitting in front of my larch, uh, larch on rock with my little Labrador. This is featured in a number of videos over the last couple of years, but I keep saying I'm gonna be adding another larch to it. Now I sold the one I wanted to, but I've got this one. So if this is gonna interest you, make sure you uh, hit bell notifications because uh, this is definitely gonna be featuring over the next month or two. Now, you've seen the ups and downs of my channel. This ficus root on rock is definitely a down. In fact, that's the down police coming to get me for doing abusive things to ficus. It is dead, by the way. Still haven't glued my rocks either. That was supposed to be a task for last week. So we've got 114 million people creating on YouTube. Now granted only 38 million or thereabouts are actually earning. And I'd like to say that I'm one of the lucky ones who through your help and your support is also earning. But uh, how did that come about? And what is my best earning video and why? Who cares? Like really, who cares? And by the way, have you got any idea of what the fourth most popular subject is on YouTube. Answers down in the comments, but believe it or not, Dorian of a well-known bonsai channel has actually cracked the nut on that one because it's ASMR. I had to look that up to find out what that meant. I didn't like the sound of it, if you know what I mean. So on the 14th of January, 2023, I finally passed that milestone of a thousand subscribers. Funny enough, that's the uh, anniversary of my mother's birthday, God rest her soul. And I start earning, and do you know how much I earned on that first day? 22 pence, and it was the best 22 pence I've ever got. In fact, do you know that there's 2,500 videos uploaded a minute, and this is just one of them? I bet it's not the best one though, is it? I could do my Mr. Beast. So, there you go, 1,000 subscribers, big tick, I've got my 4,000 uh, watch hours, I'm earning, and, uh, Am I thinking of retirement yet? Well, I'll be honest with you, somewhere deep, deep down in the recesses of my mind, I did think, you know what, in a couple of years' time, maybe retirement's on the, uh, on the cards. Well, alas, no. But uh, if you want to get an idea of just how much different videos earn and how much work and effort goes into that earning, then uh, keep watching. And you still want to know how much I've earned in my first year monetized. But now here's an interesting thing. And I think this is something for everyone to be aware of, especially those who've, um, who are nearing the thousand subscribers or have just got there. Do you know what percentage of people actually ever get monetized out of that? Well, I think it's 38 million active channels. It's uh, 8%. So if you're there feeling a bit despondent, a bit down, just remember, thousand subscribers, over 92% of the people who are trying to create haven't achieved that. So that's gotta be a big well done. And for those of you who are close, that's still pretty good, so keep on going for it. This year, you might also see me do a little bit more work on this juniper. This juniper has been with me since 2016, along with a couple of others, but uh, I think we're well worth a little bit of a video on this. First of all, come on then, what do you think a thousand views make on a video? Well, I've got £5.30 uh, on a thousand views on this particular video here. This next one's had 1,500 views and that's uh, £7.27. But the strange thing here is um, all videos aren't equal, and I wonder why that is. 
because this next one at 2,000 views has, um, has actually earned £11.66, which is double the difference between the, uh, the first 500 uh, gap, so to speak. So why is there that difference? And, uh, and straight, straightforward, Google gives you the answer because they give you the answer to everything. It comes down to uh, three main demographics. First one is age, 24 plus, puts you in a prime earning age group for a creator. Then it has to be uh, in terms of the affluence of a country because ultimately this is guided by um, AdSense and Google Ads and they want to earn off the people who are watching the videos. So somewhere like the UK or the US, Australia and other affluent nations, they get marked up higher for earnings. And uh, the other thing is quite naturally is the topic. Uh, and we all know that, uh, that the likes of Mr. Beast within their niche finance, particularly finance is a big one, they earn the bigger advertising revenue. Big money, 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 money. For us who are doing the how-to bonsai, things like that, you know, we're in, the, we're in the lower category. So we'll earn less per views anyway. Interestingly enough, um, you've seen what it is for uh, the standard views, but what sort of earnings can you get off a, a YouTube short for a, a thousand views? And this may be surprising, but it's the grand total of one penny. Well, oh, fancy seeing you here. It's great to see you. Do you know, the sun is coming in on my right hand side. I might get a little bit of seal burn. So, little sense in YouTube, except there is a very big advantage in uh, YouTube shorts, but more of that later. Now, I think sometimes back in that, that first year with YouTube, it was really frustrating. It took months before I got very many subscribers. And uh, it's strange because some, some of the more interesting co uh, content is right down there in those first sort of three or four months and has very, very few viewings. But that happens to us all and that's natural for a YouTube channel. It's also probably why you see a lot of stuff being rehashed and done again. But uh, let's dive, dive down into the analytics a little bit more because in the first year, between February 22nd to January the 14th, I got just over 86 and a half thousand views, which when you think about it, 86 and a half thousand people have actually taken the time to watch me. And if you can imagine sitting in front of a, a, a boardroom or a, a big conference or no, Wembley Arena or one of the big arenas like Taylor Swift, maybe. He's losing it. He's going to crack. But if we then take that on a further year um, from January the 12th to January the 24th this year, um, I got 345,000 views and I picked up another 2,200 subscribers. So, you know, if you're out there and you're wondering if you're going to make that break, keep going with the content, keep being consistent, keep trying to improve every different video, keep trying to improve. I mean, Mr. Beast is one big thing and we want every video try and do something a little bit different. <laughs> I know, still haven't washed the pots, unlikely to, let's be honest, but Looking back at the, uh, the charts, the first biggest one is, uh, was a complete surprise to me. And this is the thing with YouTube, is you can spend hours, in fact, spend days and weeks producing a piece of content that you think is going to be the best. And you throw everything into it. Probably the single biggest cause of mental health issues for YouTube creators is when you air and upload it and you come down. For my, in my case, it might be a Sunday morning, I'll look. And if I see the figures like, you know, 400 people have watched it, you know, after 15 hours, the pit of my stomach drops because I've been convinced that something was going to go soaring off into the stratosphere and make me a YouTube star, etc., etc. And it doesn't matter how grounded you are, you still get affected by all these sort of things. And then you'll get something that you've, you've not really not thought about. You've chucked it together at the last minute and people love it. So uh, my most popular one and the one was probably for my case, one that really boosted above the two or 3,000 views was my Think Ahead series, where I sort of break down over two months the sort of things I'm going to be doing in the future. 10,000 views, which I'd never ever had in a video, anywhere near that in, in a very, very short period of time, which you can see. But guess what? 43 pounds. And when you look at it in that, in sort of an hourly rate, it probably um, sort of gives you a bit of perspective to the true earning, the reality of, of earning on YouTube. That's what 10,000 views relates to in earnings. And um, probably worth saying now is different videos, and you'll see one I've got, the next one is um, collaboration with Yella. Um, it was a Yana Dory dig, fantastic. That one has had nearly 10,000 views, only 26 pounds. 
And the key thing here is if people don't watch the ads, and to be honest, I didn't watch ads, then we earn nothing from the video. That collaboration with Yella was um, all over Yamandori and, and how as a beginner you can, uh, what, sort of, what sort of things you should be doing and not doing. And, uh, and we had fantastic fun, despite the fact that we didn't actually physically meet each other. And if you haven't seen the video, then please, please, I urge you to look. There's two in the series, both of them equally good, and uh, Yella is the star, there's no doubt about it. So you want advice from me on how to dig Yamadori? You know what happens when I dig trees, right? This is the tree, or one of the trees, and uh, we're going to see more of it this year. But interestingly, from this second um, well-performing video, is when you look at the, uh, what they call the gradient on the uh, collaboration video, it's um, steadily increasing upwards. So when I'm looking at my videos, although the first video was a great, great initial earner, surprise, put me out there, got subscribers, it, it flatlined. So it's no longer earning really money. So the best for the channel are the ones that are actually showing a, a gradient upwards, because it means they're continuing to be viewed and being found. And as I've learned, that's what the algorithm likes the most. And then if we look at number three, it's the Dawn Redwood video. Again, it's another good one for the channel. It's steadily increasing. And it's, it's really bizarre, isn't it? Because this one has made, I don't know, 38 pounds. Similar viewers to the one we've just seen. And yet it's almost doubled. And again, this comes down to how many ads yourselves are willing to watch. So it's interesting. So you can never actually pick or guarantee exactly what an earnings might be. But hopefully you start to get a feel of what sort of earnings are available at the lower end of a small channel creator. Fourth, coming in there, we've got the, uh, the, the trunk chops video. And I did quite a lot of trunk chops. And I'd like to thank Tony of Tony's Bonsai, God rest his soul, because he was really heavy at getting those chops in early. I think he gave me a lot of advice very early on to say, save, you've got to cut those trunks. <laughs> boom, boom. And the final one, the rest in peace announcement for Tony, um, God bless him, when he died. It would have been, it could have been easy for me to monetize that one. And I did think about it, but ultimately that was never going to be about making money. But that's had over 7,000 uh, views. And most of those views happened in the first 24 hours, which is very understandable. Um, although um, I didn't want to benefit financially from it, which would not have been right, I still benefited from subscribers. And I know that a lot of those were Tony's subscribers. So thanks very much for coming over and supporting me. And I'll continue to put out content about Tony's trees, as I've promised to him and his family um, through the coming year. And in that point, actually, we're coming up for the spring repots. Please, anyone who's got Tony's trees, um, if you're thinking of doing some filming, please, please, please sort that out. I'll be looking at starting to get some major repots and updates on Tony's stuff in the sort of mid to late March. So that's your timetable if you want to get anything through to me. By the way, if you watched my um, Trident Maple repot last year, um, I did it quite late. Got lots and lots of um, buds looking really, really good. So I'm quite happy about that one, which goes to show if you're careful and you've got the right conditions, you can do your repots through most of the year, although I wouldn't say right now. And I think Jonas of um, Bonsai Cornwall has also shown the same thing with something he did with uh, the tree he repotted um, probably a month ago now. I understand it's doing really, really well. All right then. Well, I think, I think I've, you've waited long enough. And uh, for those of you who've hung in there and kept my um, uh, viewing figures up, thank you. But how much have I actually earned in this first monetized year? Well, I'm glad you asked. As of sort of January time, and the grand total of £1,155. And as of today, that's somewhere near £1,230. Um, the last month has been a big reduction because, as you know, I dropped down to one video a week. And I'll continue that for another, certainly, two weeks' time. And I'm so glad I had that break. That £1,150, that's based on three videos a week for a year, full-time, Monday to Saturday. And I can tell you now, they were eight-hour-plus working hours but very, very fulfilling and satisfying. Anyone want to um, pop down in the comments what they think the hourly rate is based on that then? Good job, punk. So am I going to retire on this? Well, the answer is clearly no. I didn't start this for a financial incentive, but you know, I won't lie and say that uh, during the year, I didn't think that this was potential to be a full-time income. Well, in my line and my sphere and my um, editing ability, I don't think I've got the pulling power that maybe Nigel Saunders has got, or um, Bonsai Relief, or 
of Darren George, of Grow Bonsai, all the big nurseries. But um, I'm happy in my little niche and my lovely community. It, it's worth pointing out here the other area that um, creators do get to earn some revenue. This is um, controversial, and for those of you who get quite a lot more super thanks or super chat, you know, I think it's fair and to be transparent to say that um, YouTube take 30% of that. And please, I, I do hope that doesn't affect anyone detrimentally. But I was surprised just how much they took. You know, I've often said that if um, anyone wants to show their appreciation to me, then uh, do it via PayPal using my um, expressions bonsai at gmail.com account. And that's not a plug for you to throw some money or anything at me. But the reason why is I just feel it's a bit unfair that you give this extra thanks and 30% of it goes straight to, uh, to Google. Absolutely incredible. I know not a lot of you saw it, but I did a little video about unusual species or unbonsaiable trees. And this is an Oleari traversi. And I actually, it's, I think it's a New Zealand species. And I actually got it when I was up in Stromsø, growing really, really well. But I've actually got two of them out of the eight I tried. But I actually think it's got potential. And I, and I certainly think this has got broom written all over it. Well, I hope it has anyway, because you're going to see it again this year. Now, I think, interestingly, when you look down that breakdown, you can see, obviously, um, the super thanks part. But I think right down the bottom, you can see that my YouTube shorts made a grand total, an absolutely stupendous £3.37. So you certainly don't earn money off the YouTube shorts unless you're getting the sort of million views and things like that. And I don't think a YouTube short about me cutting a branch for ficus is quite going to take me to uh, a million views. Although it did get me 13,000 views, so absolutely brilliant. But what the YouTube shorts do give you, again, is another area to pick up um, subscribers from because it comes up on the mobile feeds. And I've picked up a lot of subscribers through the YouTube shorts. And that's really the reason why I do them and also to just signpost you to something good that may be coming out on a future video. Now, if we have a little look, let's see what my first ever video uh, looked like. And I think it's had just over 600, 600 views, 663 views. And uh, as I say, that came out on February 22nd. And uh, that one absolutely um, took me days and days to put together. But when you listen to it, I think it becomes really quick and easy if, if you're critical with you, yourself understand why it perhaps wasn't so popular. My intention is to, to share my life experiences and, uh, and truthfully to explain how bonsai, I suppose without being too dramatic, saved my life. It was in 2001 that a, that a friend of mine um, had... It's a bit difficult to understand, it's a bit rambly, um, a little lack of direction, poor audio, poor viewing, bad, bad cuts and edits, and... Um, but it was a start. And I think that's the thing I'll say to anyone who's thinking of starting a YouTube channel. Um, don't think about it, just start. Just go for it. Shoot video. Even if you're not ready to upload it, start shooting video, start practicing editing and putting stuff together. And, and the biggest tip I'll give you right now, and I bet you never knew you were gonna get a takeaway tip, scene changes. Um, if you notice my first year's worth of videos, it's practically always face on and the camera doesn't change. It might zoom in or out a bit, but you're not getting all the scene changes or the angle changes. It may take a bit of time, but really it makes a massive, massive difference to viewing quality. Let me know in the comments if you actually think the change in, uh, in filming approaches and camera angles has made a difference to your enjoyment. Certainly, I don't think the bonds I have, these two Chinese elms, by the way, both cuttings. Um, and you know from that first video that I have actually hundreds of Chinese elm cuttings and again, if you've got a Chinese elm, don't waste the cuttings. But we'll be seeing those worked on as well. Go on then. You've seen my first ever video. I'm sure as we're looking through this, you can see what my worst content is. And the worst content is actually all to do with the, um, the Bonsai app. And I did a whole series on it because, you know, Lexi and I have determined we're going to try and share it and get it out there as many people as possible. But in terms of the algorithm and how it promotes it, it, it isn't searchable. It's not something you regularly, you don't, you don't regularly put in there, you know, bonsai database. And again, that brings me on to another thing. Make sure whatever title is search, searchable and search related. And now as I, uh, I look at the excitement, in fact, I don't know if you can see that, but I've actually got leaves starting to open up on the Japanese maple, which is joyous, but I've got another week where I know we're gonna go sub-zero. But 
that's telling me this thing's nearly ready for repot. So I need to start looking at this stuff. I'm going to say now, massive, massive thank you um, for everyone who supported me, for everyone who's helped me on my development journey. And there's been lots of creators there who've given me lots of advice uh, and helped me with things I need to do. And I'll say straight away, you know, Jason Hanrahan, uh, Yella, two big ones who, who like to give me really good constructive advice. Rubbish, he's talking rubbish. Oh. And I've benefited from it. So thank you very much and continue to do so. I uh, will not take offense because I need a lot of constructive advice. Oh, look at this. Can't quite see the flowers on the uh, Forsythia, but yeah, that's gonna be really, really beautiful. I'm just looking at all the Chinese elms here. And many of you may well know that the Chinese elms get forgotten for me every year. And I've got to repot the entire community of them, which is quite a few. You've seen what I've earned. Um, I've talked about some of the ups and downs of it. And I think um, I sort of briefly strayed on mental health. And I'm sorry, it's not going to be about that because I'm happy. My biggest ever desire when I started YouTube was community. Um, you know that my wife had recently passed, as had my parents. As a result of the time I spent caring, I wasn't able to get back into employment. And, you know, sadly, that still remains the case. So although I'm lucky and fortunate I can be full time doing this, the other side of which you probably don't see is that, um, you know, I do still try and look at obtaining employment. Um, and that may be something that happens in the future, um, God willing, where you'll see the content um, reduced, perhaps. So really just leads me to say uh, thanks very much. Um, this uh, Japanese maple uh, cast off from a nursery garden centre. Very, very weird angles, but great ramification at the top. We'll be seeing that in a future video. In fact, I'll be doing a short that I'll be asking advice on which way to go with it. So financially, no, I'm not going to be buying Rolls Royces or big houses or living the life of luxury. But do you know what? Thanks to yourselves and your support, I'm earning sufficient that I can pay for my bonsai, which if you think of anyone, who is doing this as a hobby, they know it's expensive. You paid for all that soil that um, I purchased with Alex last year. And in fact, all the timbers, which is under sponsor of Bench, is also gonna be coming through YouTube. So you've made it possible for me to continue to enjoy doing this. So thank you for that. So do I ever regret starting YouTube and the hours that I have to do? Well, no, of course I'm not. As many people say out there, it's my choice to do the content. It's my choice to create. And I also accept that as I grow more and more subscribers, I do have a responsibility to, to pay back the investment that you've all been putting into my content, <laughs> my long journey. It must feel like a long journey to many of you. <laughs> but no, I don't ever forget just how much you put into this. And I'm ever so grateful and thankful for it. And I'll continue, hopefully, to be able to uh, produce the sort of stuff that you enjoy from me. What have I got out of it? Well, yeah, financially, it's, it's gonna help me to help the hobby go. And I'm trying to reinvest all of that to make the channel better, to make the bonsai better. Although I don't think no amount of money is gonna help the bonsai better. So before I uh, close off, let's draw back to this um, ficus. You know that this was a YouTube short in which all I did was cut a branch and it was a will I or won't I? Um, yeah, one of us has never ever expected that to be a success. Probably the least informative of all my shorts. Hopefully we'll see this one uh, move on to bigger and better things. So if you've enjoyed this, um, this little breakdown of my first year of monetization, hit like. Um, if you like this sort of content, then please subscribe. It's amazing, but of all the viewers, um, only 40% of you are actually subscribed. Uh, and I know how that feels. I've got over 130 subscriptions and I don't watch all the channels. But please, it helps me. If you want to help me in any way at all, if you subscribe, share, write comments, then YouTube and that little algorithm notices it and it then pushes it out to more people. So if you think more people enjoy my content, then that's your social responsibility. Is that fair? Probably not. Anyway, from Xavier, hope I haven't bored you too much. Thank you very much for the earnings. I will reinvest it in yourselves and the trees. And I look forward to this, um, this spring growing season, which is coming upon us ever so fast. All the best. Happy bonsai and God bless. Cheers.